Alright, what's going on ladies and gentlemen? My name is Nick, also known as Tetra Ninja, and I welcome you to Guacamelee. Uh, this is an indie game platformer that was just released on PlayStation Network today. It was $15 or $12 if you are a PlayStation Plus member. So yeah, I once in a while like doing these small indie games because it adds some variety to the channel. In my opinion, so hopefully you guys are going to enjoy. From what I hear, this game is actually very, very good. PlayStation and PlayStation 4 actually are going to look like they will be fully supporting these small indie development games. So I will be doing a lot more of them in the future as well because once in a while I like to play these small games, like I said. So yeah, uh, if you hopefully you guys gonna enjoy the series. As always, if you gonna enjoy the series, give the first video the biggest rating that you can, possibly in a favorite. And let's get started by starting a new game. One. There is no voice acting for this game, so I will do my best to keep the text moving at a reasonable rate. Let's see here. What I really like is I dig the art style to this game. Zenith means the peak, if you're wondering. Go to the church. <laughs> Charming music. I guess that's locked off for now. Blasphemy, never run out of tequila. Okay, I need to become a luchadoras. Seems like that is the big club in town. Let's see what's in here. Any way to drop down? No? We gotta still get to that church. Casa de Polo. Chickens. Oh, I just punched. Oh no, it's gonna go crazy. Just like in Zelda. Oh, I drop, baby. No way down yet. Hello. Muy inteligente. Humanities. <laughs> okay, let's get to that church. Where's Frey? Thank you. 
She's hitting on me. I sure can. It's a date. <laughs> a presidente's daughter. <laughs> oh. Something's happening. What? Wow. <laughs> TKO. I, I better not be dead already. Oh my goodness. I definitely think I'm dead. Let's get to my house. Still didn't jump far. Ooh. Purdy. I am all that is man. Kyra is a Saints Row. <laughs> If you do buy this game, you actually get it for PlayStation Vita as well, because it has cross block, uh, cross buy, so it's a little bit of incentive there to pick it up. This game actually would probably be very suited as a pick up and go game, mobile, not mobile, like portable. Look at that uppercut. That's my objective. Huh. What?
It's a water closet. Oh, hi. Oh, there's a roll. What the heck? Why do I need to roll into the swipe power? Got him. He, he was invincible until I actually got through that roll scene. Chickens. Is this building right? Back in your pen. I've been punching this chicken for a while and does not seem to want to go up any higher. Oh, there you go. Had to uppercut him. Finally. Got to down that uppercut. I was about to give up there for a second. Get in the coop! Yeah, yeah! And, uh, in case I didn't go over it already, in order to drop down, you have to hold down and hit X. That's what you drop quicker. Thank you. Gracias, señor. Heart piece. I think I yeah, I went through here. Uh, the buttons are also pressure sensitive, so the harder you hit the jump button, the higher you'll go. The lighter you tap it, the less you'll jump, etc. How am I supposed to get that? Go. Graveyard. <laughs> Upgrades. I don't have any mu enough money. Oh, 
Storm Bones. Oh, what's up? Can I break this? No. Don't have the juice. Oh, ow. Oh! Spikes. No spikes? No. Just tall grass. Fight, 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 fight! Oh, jeez. Mm. <laughs> Kinda got pooped on a little. Just a little. Oh, no. That green goo. Is that a vine? Oh no, never mind. I was about to say, do I swing out that vine? Hello! I've yet to figure out what those skulls do. Huh, huh. I think the last indie platformer game I played was Mark at the Ninja. That was a really stellar game as well. Highly recommend it. It's available on. It was originally only on Xbox or something, but it's on PC now. So you yeah, guys can check that out if you guys like this type of thing. Completely redefining the stealth genre. See, now they explain how you drop down. I could have used that earlier. <laughs> Don't jump up. <laughs> Man, a lot of these thrones everywhere. Jesus. Uh, how am I supposed to do this? I don't even know. Roll in the air, just have to press the R as a button. That's how I do it. Anyway, getting higher. Kill box. Oh, I jumped right into that. Oh boy. Deal with the guys throwing the bones first. Seems like a safe plan. Combat's really fluid.
はいえにゃったーラブアーツだ。I dig it。Oh, right. Oh, this one's gonna have to roll. Come on, roll, dude. There you go. Way for a platform to come. Huh. Some serious cashola. No, <laughs> it's graffiti, kinda. You leave my mother out of this. <laughs> Sweet deal. Oh, yeah. Power. Oh, there's only so many times I can use it. Oh, there's a. There's a recharge rate. Oh, I can use it to jump too? Ah, I see. But anyways guys, I think that'll be it for the first episode. We got pretty far into it. So hopefully you guys got enjoyed the series. Once again, I like doing these indie games once in a while because it's a nice change of pace and I find them very enjoyable. Have very unique art styles and uh and musical scores. So yeah, like I said, hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did enjoy, once again, give the video a quick rating and I will see you guys next time for some more guacamelee. Alright, have fantastic days always.